you watched Spider-Man into Spider-Verse, me too, and it was awesome. Everything was great. The plot, the fight, this girl was pretty cool too. But Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider-Man 2099, is one of the coolest characters by far. The suit with the arm blades is sick, the glowing spider web, and now I have to build something from him. I, I need it. The two things that called my attention the most was the arm blades, and second, the glowing web. So let's start with the web. I will use this LED strip I found on Amazon. It has a battery pack because it lights up. It will look better in the dark. It also has some other modes that I'm not going to be using. And I can also place this in my pocket, so it won't be here on the bottom of my hand. Also, I need to find a way to put everything here on the top of my hand, but no, I will work that out later. This is the plan. I have this screen, which is really powerful, the tip of the web, and the case that is going to be attached to my hand. First, we put the spring, then the case for the tip, then the case for everything else. So this is how it's supposed to be working. However, I am a little bit concerned. Get out. I am a little bit concerned of the weight because this this is heavy compared to, for example, the string that is usually used in these kind of props. So let's get to testing. First, let's try it without the web. Okay, that worked really well. Now let's try with the web and see how much it can pull. It does need more force. Let's move to a bigger spring. Should be around twice the length. Ah, much better. This is too light. This, this is not heavy at all. So I'm going to use this magnet, which is pretty heavy, and we can also use it to, you know, attach to some metals when after shooting. At the bottom of this part, when the web is shot, we, there's a friction here, so we have to fix that also. Here's the next design. I already placed the magnet on the tip, and okay. And this this is strong magnet. And this is the one we're going to use. It's a lot heavier than it was before. Here is also a new case. It has an outlet for the cable, so it won't stuck on the on the back side of the of the one we had previously. I think the reach was fine, but we can do better. Then a 3D model, a case for the cable, and my forearm for a better fitting. Now let's move to the arm blades. There are two on each arm, one longer and one shorter. They should be able to open up anytime and they should glow in the dark as well. I'm thinking on using hinges maybe for them to open up and also I'm thinking about using strings or springs for the mechanism. I don't know, I will figure that out later. I just finished the design which looks amazing. They open up really well, at least in theory. Now let's print this and check out how they work. Every time I'm making something new, I print a small part of the mechanism just to make sure everything is working fine. And here you can see the stoppers I place for limiting the motion are working great. The rest of the movement is kind of getting stuck here and there. That means this hole is a little bit small for this uh, shaft. So yeah, I'm going to make that bigger. Other than that, everything is fine. Finally, after an around day, prints are finished and we can start making sure that everything is working properly. There are all the components. There are six, three for each arm. This is going to be like this, you know, kind of like that. This is the upper blade. This is the lower blade. The design kind of looks like Batman. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you like to see something like that. I'm going to have this string. So when I pull it like this, this is going to release the blades. If everything is ready for sanding and painting, I will use this primer that fills small scratches and then I will paint everything this red. But first, we sand. I want to share a little mistake. After sanding them, I washed them in order to, you know, take all the dust out and I left these parts to dry in the sun and what, what, what happened? Look, look at this, they warped because of the heat, I believe. The sun is really, really hot right now. So, yeah, now I am going to try to fix this with a heat gun and see what happens. Hopefully I can repair all this bending. Look at this, what the... So the heat gun completely worked. It looks almost as good as it was before. So glad I was able to repair them.
Parts already have the normal paint, which look a little bit of dark red, jump from Batman look to Iron Man look. But since in the night I need it to light up, I'm going to use UV paint with an airbrush because last time I used it in a flame chomper, it turned out really good. So I want to try it again with the blades. Now, I don't have red paint with me, but I have these other neon paints that maybe I can combine and get red somehow. So let's see how it goes. Well, that didn't work at all. So I just decided to buy some red paint. It looks kind of pinkish to me. However, after applying UV light, it does look red. So yeah, let's do it. All the parts are painted and ready for assembly. I painted the springs as well because aesthetics. And this is not burned. It's black paint that, you know, came on top of the, the back. If you're enjoying the video, hit pause, give it a like. It really helps the channel and only takes a second. Ready? We're good? Okay, let's move to the assembly. So this small piece broke on both sides, meaning there's no way this is going to handle this force, which, to be honest, is not very much, but still. However, I do have an idea of how to fix it, and it will be so much better. First, let's make some changes on the design, then go back to printing. Part for the fix are already printed, and you will see how this works in a minute. This is very simple. I just pull this string, which pulls the metal rod and allows the blades to connect. Then to release them is the same. I pull the string, release the blades, and as the spring decompresses, it goes back to the initial position. So now everything is ready. Our blades are finished, looking really good. This is the web shooter, which is going to have a string for it to you know, activate when I lower my hand. And most of this mess is going to be under my shirt, so it won't be visible. If you enjoyed this kind of project, click the subscribe button. We went from 2 to 21 in the last video, which I really appreciate. So let me know in the comments what else would you like to see. The Blue Beetle movie is coming up soon. Maybe we can do something from it. I don't know. We'll see. But in the meantime, we still have a couple of weeks to make another project. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one and enjoy the build.